Okay. Hello, I'm Robert Riggs, CEO of the Scleroderma Foundation. I'm joined today by Dr. Maureen Mays, who is the recipient of the Scleroderma Foundation's Lifetime Achievement Award. The Lifetime Achievement Award is the Foundation's highest honor and reserved for individuals who have provided exceptional service and leadership to the Scleroderma Foundation for at least a decade across its entire scope of mission. It's almost unimaginable to think that anyone connected to the Scleroderma community is unfamiliar with you and your work, Dr. Mays. But for the record and for posterity, I want to provide just a brief overview of your history and it's too important to get it wrong, so I am going to be reading it. Dr. Mays completed her rheumatology fellowship and internal medicine training at the Cleveland Clinic following graduation from Eastern Virginia Medical School. She went on to receive a master's in public health in epidemiology at the University of Michigan School of Public Health. She joined the faculty of the University of Texas Health Science Center at Houston as a professor of medicine in 2002. There, she serves as the founder and director of the Scleroderma Clinical and Research Program, where she pursues her primary clinical interest in the diagnosis and treatment of scleroderma. Beyond her clinical work, Dr. Mays conducts basic science research on the genetics of scleroderma, as well as clinical treatment trials to find better therapies. She's published over 250 articles and reviews in the medical literature describing her findings. Many people living with scleroderma know her as the author of a definitive book for patients entitled The Scleroderma Book, A Guide for Patients and Families. And Dr. Mays is the recipient of many distinctions and awards, including being named a master of the American College of Rheumatology, She's a past recipient of the Scleroderma Foundation's Messenger of Hope Award. She's listed in Best Doctors in America, as well as named one of Texas's Super Doctors. Being a distinguished clinician, professor, researcher, and author is a full plate by anyone's standards. Yet for more than 25 years, Dr. Mays, you have actively volunteered on behalf of patient advocacy organizations. You were a board member of the United Scleroderma Foundation in the early 1990s and went on to serve the Scleroderma Foundation as a member and leadership member of the Medical and Scientific Advisory Board, where you've served for over 22 years. Your long history of service to the Scleroderma Foundation as a trusted advisor to our chapter leadership and the national organization, as well as your commitment to the education, clinical care, and scientific discovery of our community and this disease is truly exemplary. This Lifetime Achievement Award is as much recognition of your work on behalf of the Scleroderma Foundation as it is for your service to the entire scleroderma patient, medical, and scientific communities. You're a world-renowned expert that always finds time to share your knowledge with the patient community at national and regional foundation events, to serve as an inspirational mentor to the next generation of scleroderma researchers and clinicians, and a valued colleague to establish scleroderma experts worldwide. On a personal note, I've known you for 25 years. You've been a wonderful teacher and a trusted advisor to me in my personal growth and knowledge about this disease, for which I will always be grateful. And so, on behalf of the Scleroderma Foundation's National Board of Directors, and all those our organization serves, I'm honored to present you with the Lifetime Achievement Award and hope you will accept it and the tremendous gratitude that it represents. Thank you, Dr. Mays. Well, thank you so much for those, those kind words. Um, I did get this, here we go, in the, <laughs> it's delivered to me. And I'm going to put it in a place of honor in my office since I spend almost all my working hours in the office. Uh, I won't be at home, but I'm very pleased and honored to accept this award. Uh, I got my start in research with a small grant from the Scleroderma Foundation many years ago. 
It was in the early to mid 80s. And um, I was very pleased because the founder of the United Scleroderma Foundation at that time actually came and visited me to personally uh, give me the check for the uh, research. And I was so impressed by that and by her and subsequently by others, including you in the Scleroderma Foundation and the people in the chapters and my patients. And it just has, has kept me there. It's been uh, fulfilling, challenging, frustrating, time consuming, many years, but uh, we are still, we've made tremendous progress on the research field. We've made tremendous progress in terms of being able to treat scleroderma much better, but we still haven't quite gotten the home run, which we're, we're still working on. So I credit the Scleroderma Foundation and your support of research and your support of patients in really making that possible. Thank you, Dr. Mays. We appreciate your time today. Congratulations on a well-deserved uh, award for lifetime achievement. And of course, it is uh, not uh, an excuse for you to quit anytime soon. <laughs> so please continue your great work on behalf of the scleroderma community and advancing research. And again, thank you and congratulations. Thank you.